this is card number three the the artwork is the same however the writing is a little different on this one okay take a look there's a little bit of addition added here so what we're gonna do is and it's hard to tell which parts have been um, added and taken out so what we're gonna do we're gonna read card number three okay this whole card of the revised version so this let me bring this out again okay just so you know this is the original version this is the revised version uh, best evidence and that's one thing that happened with the Oliver Stone uh, movie and the information that was released regarding the assassination because Oliver Stone released some information regarding the autopsy that wasn't available before so this drawing let me see if let's see if all the drawings are the same the artwork is the same that's cool maybe they're right up on the bottom I didn't check that the writing seems to be the same right but what we're gonna do we're gonna read the revised version of the autopsy because this is incredibly important right so this is from 1992 revised version of uh, the coup d'etat assassination of JFK trading cards right we already read we already took a look at the the artwork a sort of a, a storyboard of what took place let's read the background the autopsy card number three okay Lyndon Johnson would not leave Dallas without the president's widow who in turn refused to depart without her husband's body so the autopsy was performed at Beth Bethas that Naval Hospital claims that the body was altered between Parkland and Beth Bethas that persist due to in incompatible description of the president's wounds and because the uh, ornate pre ornate ornate or ornate ornate presidential casket was left unguarded on Air Force uh, Air Force One during its delayed takeoff while Johnson on his own orders was sworn in as president the pro uh, premise uh, of tampering with reinforced was reinforced by naval officers claim that Kennedy's body appeared at Bethesda in body bag inside a cheap tin casket prior to the arrival of the official uh, entourage the autopsy was performed by commander James Humes and two other naval doctors none of them forensic pathologists Parkland found a three inch exit hole in the back of the head indicating a frontal shot Humes, Humes whose first observation according to to FBI agent was that there had been surgery of the head area quote surgery of the head area end quote described the head wound as a gaping hole towards the right front as from a rear shot Parkland saw a back wound below the right shoulder Hughes located it in the neck Parkland saw an entrance wound in the throat Humes called it a uh, trick tra trichotomy after being told of his mistake the next day and without having followed the path of the bullet through the neck on orders from an unnamed general Humes concluded this bullet had exited from the throat he then uh, burnt his primary autopsy notes his findings along with a bullet found on a stretcher at Parkland gave rise to the Warren Commission's magic quote magic bullet theory end quote but in 1992 former Parkland doctor Charles 
Crenshaw broke 29 years of silence, stating he had observed that Kennedy was shot from the front. Okay, and this part here, coup d'etat trading cards, revised second edition, text copyright 1990-1992, Paul Brancato, art copyright 1990-1992, Bill Sinkowski, phenomenal lighter <laughs> the raw artist by the way bill was uh and eclipse entertainment eclipse entertainment p.o box 1099 forestville california 95436 and here's the copyright for the 1990 version so here's the original version and you can see the paper on this is whiter right so the first version came out in 1990 the second version revised version after the uh, Oliver Stone movie and the documents that were released came out in 1992 very cool very cool 